Marge Sayan. I know it's difficult today because we are going to miss this moment. But believe it's not the end, it's just the beginning. Beginning of our future and our career. Two years ago, I didn't have the ability to speak English. And I told myself, it's impossible. When I applied for this scholarship, I said to myself again, it's impossible. But I'm here today with you. I pronounce the word without fear. Oh man, the first day. Of course I remember the first day. We came with a bus from Ammonia Square. It was, I think it was Monday. I wake up early, I went to Barber, I bought a new clothes. I still remember red t-shirt. I was very happy to see the college, to see new people. The American College of Greece has been itself a refugee from the East, forced by war in 1922 to abandon um, its roots, its country, which was uh, Izmir, we call it Smyrna in Greek. And so for us, this is a kind of a return to our roots and an opportunity to serve refugees in the early 21st century who have many of the same needs as we were familiar with when we came to Greece. And your voice, you are here. We chose you for your voices. You have something to say. You have something you want to do with your life and within the world. And we want to help you do that. We want to help you develop your voice more. We want to give you all the skills that you need to be able to put that voice into action. So we welcome you and we also invite you to trust us and to speak to us. Because this is a community of care and at the same time a caring community. And we hope that you will not only experience it but also contribute to it. Then we got the idea. <laughs> Every time that I see my picture and my ID, which belongs to that day, I see that, I see that person, broken, beaten, exhausted. It was only after that where I experienced a boom, because up to that point, everything was just static. Static, even worse than static. And we start. The idea is to give displaced young people the opportunity to attend college, which in many cases was interrupted by the tragedy of war and violence that led these people to put themselves on boats and take the risks of building new lives for themselves. I would like to do computer. Business manager. Engineering. I love uh, politics. It's my dream job to become a pilot. I want to work and to support myself by myself. So I want to be a human. Human need this kind of stuff. What are the problems that this world is facing? Come on. I mean, you, because you have faced some of these problems, you're here. My name is Abdullah Al Shamari. I'm 22 years old, stateless person from Kuwait. Hi, how are you? I have a master. Really? Yeah. Nice. I study here. Yes, here. here. Let's see. Wait, wait. Sorry. <laughs> hey, did you take that as well? <laughs> Working with students is unpredictable, and you have good days and you have bad days. But when I think about the orientation day with the students, and I walked into the cafeteria and I saw a group of refugee students, a group of our Greek students, Balkan students, and they were all talking. And that just clicked of this is the point of the program. Maybe get them thinking about the future again. I think that they found a pathway, a roadmap towards a better future. Like for me personally, this is a thing that I was dreaming to find out about. To know that there are people that are giving scholarships for refugees for free in a foreign country. And like most of us are here by themselves. I don't have family in, in Greece, neither in Greece nor in Europe. And uh, I hope as well to go and find my brothers and uh, again uh, be together. 
we went, we celebrated in IFRS QV. It was my first Thanksgiving, actually. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. That night was the, the second best night of my life. The second most beautiful night of my life. We feel as we have family, man. For me, I left my family before 60 years or more. So I felt as I have family. I have someone behind me, support me always, like celebrate with the holidays. It's something I didn't do it before since six years. So I was just there and suddenly it came up. Oh my God, it's me. <laughs> something you can't imagine in Athens, and the first time for me here. And uh, in this area, which is all the civilization, all the people, and this very specific mon moment, which is during the new year, oh my god. Good morning, welcome to all of you, and happy new year. We are really delighted to have you uh, with us today, starting um, the second part of this wonderful program. I love this place. How was your feeling when you received the email from Ms. Kathleen? Congratulations. How amazing was it? For me, it was the best email I have received in all my life. The second semester, it was my job to explain for everyone who we are here, how it was, how you will be, how your life will change. A little bit, to the better. Thank you. The ball is now in your court. It's time for you guys to make the most of it. So good luck. This is one of the most inspiring, unique bilateral programs I've ever been part of, with the potential to help so many people. And as a really important symbol of the U.S. commitment to stand firmly beside our Greek allies as they work through the challenges of the refugee crisis. And I feel that they're extremely thankful that they've been provided with such an opportunity to shine, you know, to, to express who they really are. You know, for example, here they're not refugees. Would you like to share with us maybe how you feel about this identity? Because we keep mentioning it and in our group it really played a very minor yeah. role or no role. Mm -hmm. Many people mistake me with a um, student abroad, mm -hmm. the study abroad students. I don't even feel like refugee. Well, sometimes I even, I even get sad because they, t they tell me, uh, have you booked a plane? to go home for this uh, two weeks and say, well, no, I kind of like it here. <laughs> yeah. But the beauty is that um, I don't feel like a refugee. And even if I do feel like a refugee, this is something that I've decided to do. And everybody should be proud of what they do and keep the regret in me. But I'm a successful person in my life too, even if I'm a refugee. And I really feel like my, my own identity, like human beings. And uh, it was very beautiful with all of you. And I really feel like, like home. Thank you for teaching me everything. And to make me feel this, I belong to this society, belong to life. Hey. This Hello. is my, uh, my city, Aleppo. It's so famous for uh, this Zatar Halabi, we say. I had many adventures before, but this was something very meaningful. So thank you so much everyone, and it was a great experience, and we will have maybe many more in the future, but this was something that we will have it as a memory for our lifetime. <laughs> we built a new family here, a new life. Everything changed, everything changed in our life, and we start like, we start engagement with the new people, with the new society. We change our mind, we change everything for us changed. Everything. There are people who want to help you in this world. Not only by words, by doing something, by acting. I really would like to thank them from all my heart from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.